Henry Raupers farms with his family between Cardale and Newdale in western Manitoba. Now that his son is taking over more of the farming responsibilities, he has time to pursue his interest in inventing useful farm equipment under the name Cardale Tech Corp. One of the biggest needs on their farm in recent years has been a pumping system for moving water out of sloughs and then leave enough time for them to dry out for spring seeding. And uh, moving water, that's in my uh, idea since quite a while. So it took me five years to get the head around with uh, moving some water with not a lot of power. First I tried it with wind power. That worked, but it was too slow. Henry had previously seen other slough water pumping options, but from what he could tell, they all had trouble with plugging. In an effort to eliminate that problem, he built this system where a simple auger is driven by a PTO pump. This pump is built specifically for pumping high volume of water with not much pressure behind and she will not plug up. Even if there's some grass or bulrush coming, you know, it all goes through and, and gets moved in, into the water hose and then down wherever you want to pump it. The requirements to run this water pumping system are relatively simple. A utility tractor with around 40 to 50 horsepower is usually enough to do the trick with a 1000 RPM PTO shaft. The pumping system itself is housed in the rear end of the unit, designed with an emphasis on safety and efficiency. This is, this is the, the, the lower pipe here, the heavy pipe, and the auger sits inside. We have a special setup of, of bearings in there and we put a shroud on the end so nobody can get into it. The water is, gets sucked from, the, from underneath and gets sucked into the auger system and then the auger uh, is moving the water into this chamber here and from there up into the pipe. As he was going through the process of testing out this pumping system, Henry had some potential customers ask him if it could be used to move water out of really shallow sloughs. He got right to work and eventually added an important feature to his invention. What I did first, I just went with a spade into the water and digged some holes and let the tires go into these holes. But they asked me, you know, can you do this with, with hydraulics? So lower and raise the pumps, of course. So we. We uh, went back to the, into the shop and uh, just with one hydraulic cylinder, very simple, we raise and lower the axle back actually. And uh, that gets the, the back end of the pump uh, down right onto the bottom. Since the pump doesn't need to be primed and can handle mud and other debris, adding the hydraulic feature made it noticeably more effective. It goes through the pump and doesn't plug the pump up so we can lower the the water table down to three inches. If you want to go a little bit back and forth with the pump so she really slides into the, into the mud, you would take all the water there is. Under normal operating conditions, the system has a capacity of 6,000 gallons per minute. From his experience as a farmer, Henry knows the importance of building this unit strong enough for long-term durability. Just a simple jack and we have two hydraulic lines. It's a uh, uh, four by four uh, quarter inch steel beam which supports the whole thing and the top of this here is a 12 inch pipe, steel pipe. Above the intake end of the system they have a hose reel which makes it relatively simple to make the move from one slough to the next. In general we put 200 feet of hose, it's a 14 inch hose which gets clamped to the top end of the pipe and here you can see we can un strap it and then just roll it out. The pump goes in the water and then we hook the, the, the start end from the pipe up to, uh, from the hose up to the pipe again and there you go, there your system is working. The standard 200 foot length of hose is adequate in most circumstances, but Henry says in extreme situations they can run the system with multiple lengths of hose fastened together. So far we went up to 1,000 feet and we went over a ridge of 30 feet high and the tractor was, you know, needing a little bit more power but still the water shooted out and, and that's what we wanted and that's where we, we got to. Henry says if someone comes to them with a special request they'll certainly look at custom building one of these units. He's been asked about offering it in multiple sizes but he doesn't see any real need for it. 
To make a pump smaller wouldn't make the pump not really a lot cheaper. So I can't really see why we should go 8 inch or something like that, you know, to save $300. That doesn't, doesn't make a big difference, you know. Just let the tractor go a little slower. <laughs> there you have less capacity. At the time of our visit, the basic PTO-driven water pump was available through Cardell Tech Corp for $8,000. The PTO shaft and hose reel are an extra $1,000, and then the hose itself is priced at $6.50 per foot.